Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. This is the morning after we've spoken with Ruben about the plague that Simon's body probably has, and the plague that's probably going to be spreading around the town. The last thing Ruben told us is that they they were going to set up everything for the exhumation of Simon's body, I believe, and set up all the pills in the stores, you know, get good uh, immunity boosting pills in the stores and medicines and stuff like that. So hopefully Ruben's done that sort of stuff. And unfortunately, the Canes still don't believe us that, uh, especially Georgie Kane, still does not believe us that Simon Kane actually had the plague, that it's the plague that killed Simon. They still think, or at least want to believe, that it was a murderer, a person, or a creature instead of a disease. So I think I need to find proof. I say I think because I don't actually have any quest in today's quest, so the game hasn't really specifically assigned me anything to do. But I think what I probably should do is go to Ruben's place and hope that he's there, and hope that we can get some proof to convince the Canes to take this seriously. So let's head on over there. Let's make sure we speak with anybody along the way as well, in case they have anything new to say. Um, I think I've spoken with everybody here, right? Maria and Victor, I believe? You know what, have we ever gone inside of the cathedral? No, we've not. Damn, this place is so... gothic. Gray, gray, and more gray, and then that vibrant red, like blood. It's like a king's chair or something, a throne. What a strange place, so empty. Hope I'm not wasting too much time by going here. There's absolutely nothing here. Any secrets? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, sounds like it's 9 a.m. Yeah, let's get moving. Okay. To Ruben's place. I do need to explore the town a bit, though, so I don't want to just only go to my objective and just completely ignore everywhere else. But I don't want to get too sidetracked. Especially until I know the scope of what I should be doing today, and right now, I don't. I'm sure there's many things I'm going to have to do today, but right now I just don't know what those things are. Time is of the essence. Time is the essence. The essence of time is fate. Fate is interwoven with time threads into the essence of... I do have a bunch of sharp things to trade with you, right? What do you have? Revolver ammo. I do have a revolver. How many shots did I have left in it? I think two? Yeah, one... You want one sharp thing for a revolver round? Absolutely. Yes, please. Thank you. I want to reload my gun. Uh, but can I pull it out here without anybody freaking out? Hold on. Don't, don't freak out. I'm just reloading it, okay? Okay. So I should have three shots of my revolver, I think. Ah, some more. And a lockpick. Hmm. Disposable. Such lockpicks can be used to open simple locks on the doors of typical houses. I feel like that's going to be very important at some point, but the truth is I don't need it right now. Ooh, the bone necklace is worth three. 
And I know that it's only worth like 27 coin or something like that. Somewhere in the 20s um, at a store. Which is not that much money, so it's much more worthwhile as a bartering thing than a store thing. I am absolutely going to do that. And the hook is worth one. The silver ring is worth three? Yeah. Okay. So both of those will allow me to get the lockpick. And revolver ammo. That's a great trade. Thank you very much. Okay, once again, I'm going to pull out my revolver. I am not going to shoot you. Okay, she's running. It's fine, though. I didn't hear any crying babies, so I don't think my reputation went down, right? Right? Yeah, my reputation's fine. Until the little child tells their parents about the strange man who bartered with them and then pulled out a gun immediately after. Then my reputation's going to go down. You know what? Let's go visit little... Little Vlad. Because they're on the way to Ruben's place anyway. Little Vlad. Baby Vlad. Tiny Vlad. Peony Vlad. Constantly modify my path because I see bins and stuff all over the place. It really is important that you loot the bins. Super, super important. Make sure Worm isn't around here. Nope. Oh, there you are. Thought you were missing, baby Vlad. Don't tell me that's not what you were expecting. We'll have to figure out how to keep on living. Tell me, Master Vlad, do you believe that we're facing a real epidemic hazard? I still don't understand how you came to the conclusion that the disease which killed Simon is contagious. Even if we assume that the rumors of a Deathbringer are nothing but rumors. Which I doubt. I've been occasionally communicating with Isidore Barak, the man who stopped it. Wait, when? That must have been before he died, right? There has already been an out- It seems like this line of dialogue, dialogue is describing something my character seems to know that I don't know. When did Isidore tell me? Like, before the game started, Isidore told me there was a disease, a plague? Um... I'm gonna go with this option, because it seems like the only one that's like a real concrete answer. Whereas this is just fluff, but I don't really get this. But I'm sure Isidore never told you about this. The brief encounter with the Sand Plague put him in a state of primal terror. Did you know that? His opinion of his role in stopping the outbreak was not very high. And he ascribed that victory solely to circumstance. It's strange he didn't suspect anything when examining Simon. If you are right, Bachelor, and there really is going to be a sand plague epidemic in this town, there will be no stopping it. You don't need to waste your life, and you cannot help us in any way. Your only goal is to survive until the station is reopened. your fatalism. Are you saying that the services of an educated medic won't be of any help to you? Education is of no use here. Isidore may have had no medical education, but he managed to drive the demon back to hell. By the way, he mentioned that one can't beat the plague by traditional means. What means can it be beaten with, then? It cannot be beaten. Isidore was a wise man. He was born here, and knew many things that no education can provide. Bachelor, your goal is to survive. Save your talent for the capital. Leave this place. My father will be happy to assist you. I'll speak to your father. He wants me to leave. 
And I don't believe he's telling me to leave out of the kindness of his heart and because he's actually looking out for my well-being. He wants me to go because I think he's worried that I'm going to mess up something. The Ogimsky family, I'm going to mess them up, or they just don't want me meddling in affairs, or they just don't like me, I don't know. But I think they see me as a danger and they want me gone. Which means I want to stay even more. Okay, we're almost to Ruben's place. Ah, plenty of time, not even 10 a.m. How's my exhaustion doing? Pretty good. Only about 25% exhausted or so. See if you have anything more to trade. Hmm, shotgun ammunition. Don't have a shotgun, no point. Oh, I went the wrong way. I thought for a second it might be this place, but then I thought it wasn't. But as it turns out, it is. Oh, thank God Ruben's here. Okay. Anything to loot, by the way? I mean, I'm sorry to steal your stuff right in front of you, but man, I need stuff. Nothing under the microscope. Okay, let's make a perma save. Master would have approved of my actions. Now is not a good time to talk. However important the matter. Nothing important, I'm just doing the rounds. No, it is important! Seriously? Time is of the essence. What am I supposed to do today? I literally have no quest for today? Like, I can just do whatever? Okay. I mean, god, it feels horrible. There's a freaking contagion that's almost certainly being unleashed upon this town, and I feel like I need to do something, but I don't know what. There's no clear goal, no clear aim, and that makes me feel anxious. Because I feel like I need to be hustling and just doing a hell of a lot of things right now. doing anything I can to help, but... Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll go speak with the Olgimskis, as little Vlad told me to. And let's visit Bad Grief's lair. He literally freezes completely, he doesn't move at all, he's just a statue. The face looks ridiculous. Alright, who's who? You're nobody, I can't use you. Nobody, nobody. Or just goons, I guess. They're carving up the town. It's clear who's gonna bag the prize. The kinds aren't getting back on their feet anytime soon, and Vlad keeps mum. Got a finger in the pie, that's for sure. So you're bad grief. Welcome, welcome, dear guest. Give the man something to drink. Let him grab a bite. Sit him down comfortably. Show our big city guest some respect. And don't let him out until I say otherwise. Enough. Wanna play cards? Dice? The stakes ain't big city, but the game's pretty gritty. I have a fondness for my money, thanks. Since we've just met, Doc, you go in peace. For the first and the last time. But next time your exit will cost extra. Next time it will be you begging me to come. Many a one says ill that sleeps well. I don't like this guy. Dear men, bring dire omens that will cost us dearly, dear Doc. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Hmm, I can buy illegal substances from him. I wonder of what kind. I don't know if I actually do have business to discuss with this person, but I guess I'll say it just to see. I have business to discuss with you. Well, we're all business people here. Speak up, mate. 
I want to buy medical supplies from you. Won't sell you nothing. Don't have any. Hmm. You're lying. Of course you have some. Quite the contrary, Doc. Quite the contrary. I'd buy them drugs for sure. Just bring me some. See how everything's going around here? And you want to rob us of pills? You do not have my consent to that. They'll save us from the fever. What? You mean you'd buy any pills? Well, no, I'm not an idiot, mate. The sovereign ones. Words get round, you know. Everyone knows what works and what doesn't. I'm warning you. The demand for those is huge like a bull. If you need ammo, though, I could see to that no problem. Nothing's too good for my dear man. I'll keep that in mind. Saburov will regret this. Haste makes waste. So, if I can buy ammo from this person, does that mean ammo is less than legal? Because the only option that looks like would lead me to a trade is this. I want to buy something less than legal from you. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a cute little double-barreled pistol. Holy crap, that is expensive. 12,000, I only have 1,800. Jesus. Rifle, 20,000. Wait, a revolver is worth 20,000? How much can I sell my revolver for? Oh, I can't even sell it. Damn. A razor's worth 224. That's a good amount. <laughs> razors is worth 5. Razor is worth 224. My, my. Hooks and needles sell for a decent amount. 2,000 for morphine. 350 for Meridorm. 1,600 for a scalpel? Wow. They pay a pretty penny for weapons. And 560 for a bandage. I bought that bandage with, what, like six bottles of water? Not bad, not bad. What else do you have? Twyrine. A strong infusion of the Oxytocia to something herb. Boosts immunity. Okay. Yep, bunch of lockpicks. Wait, can I sell my lockpick? Oh my god, I can sell it for 560. And I bought that with just like a necklace, basically. Like a necklace plus some other sharp thing. And they go for 2,000. I got a great deal on that lockpick. Glad I grabbed it. 1,200 for revolver ammo. Nah, man, nah. I'm gonna buy it from kids. I'll get my ammo from kids, not from you. That's, that's 1,200 for one round. That's not even for the whole stack. That's obscene. Nah, I'm out of here. Yeah? Grief. What's going on in the termitary? The boss turned out to be a cunt. The big guy, that is. There's plague all around. And there he is, giving absolutely zero shits about the people. He probably knew about it all along and didn't say a thing. Hmm, so even Bad Grief knows about the plague. But you seem to care about the people oh so very much. Could you please remind me whose bastards were killing peaceful civilians right before my very eyes? You'd take me for a cunt, Doc. We don't take kindly to murderers around here, we don't. Whoever kills with a knife is no mate to us. We'll be tearing the bitch apart ourselves in no time. If someone sidles over to you with a knife, Doc, kill him. And kill him fast. We won't take no offense at that. Mm, okay. Don't like murders, huh? So I guess the people that I, like the person that I shot with the knife, 
a robber guy trying to kill somebody. I guess that's not part of their gang. I guess they don't like that. Supposedly. At least that's what they say. That's comforting. Saburov will regret this. Haste makes waste. Okay, are you implying I owe you something? I don't really want to say that, but just in case... Just in case that leads to something, let's just... Nah, doesn't do anything. A part of... And... What are you wearing? <laughs> is she wearing, like... Is that painted on? I don't even know what that is. I'm pretty sure you can see her nipples through that. In fact, she looks kind of like... Almost exactly like the woman who was burning. What? Does she not? I... I can't even speak to her. A fool's tongue is long enough to cut his own throat. She sure stands out as one of the important people for someone who you can't even talk to. Huh. So yeah, I gotta keep talking to kids and looking for ammo. I wanna trade for as much ammo as possible. Kids are also a great source of lockpicks, in terms of it being a good deal. A very good deal. Hmm. Let's go to the warehouse that has the other gang. The other gang, the uh, soul and a halves. And the gang other than the soul and a halves is the dogheads, right? I don't actually know where the dogheads are. They don't seem to be in the warehouses. Or at least they're not marked. It's this way, right? Yep. Aw, where's the way out of here? The map shows there being no, uh... No fences or anything like that, but there certainly are fences blocking me from going over there. Medicine. Yeah, so this stuff, the Meridorm, goes for like 500. And to trade for that, I just need two sharp things. Oh my god, I can trade one Razor for Meridorm. And they have two Meridorms. Two Razors for two Meridorms? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I didn't get it, right? Yeah. That's a great deal. God, trading with the kids is so important. Where's this place? Forwards and to the left. Let's make another perma save. If I remember right, I believe this is a gang that's just full of kids in here. I think there's just a bunch of... Yep. Bunch of kids. Ooh, the lighting. So vibrant. Alright, who's lead around these parts? Is it you? Ah, uh, it's gotta be you. Yeah, so you're the big shit, huh? What? What the hell are you doing here, Doc? How do you know I'm a doctor? Everyone does. I'm Chieftain Notkin. If you see a big gray cat around here, call him Artist. I will. If he calls me Bachelor. No time for Ching Wagon! <laughs> now is not a good time to talk, however important the matter. Nothing important, just doing the rounds. Okay. Yeah, nothing to talk to with him about yet. Nothing to talk to with them about yet. What? That's not even a sentence. I'm looking for the cat. Artist. Artist. Must be the invisible cat that girl talked about. Okay. You know what? While I'm here, I want to check out this train car or whatever this is. It looks red on the map. As if it's an enterable building, but it's... You know, there's no mouse over text, which is weird. 
just gotta find me a way out of here. Can I jump the fence? Nope. But what time is it? It's 10.40? Yeah, I've got time. Again, I don't really know the shape of what to do today, but it, after speaking with Ruben and finding out that apparently I'm not supposed to do anything with him yet, um, I feel pretty free to do whatever I want. It's this way, right? Yep. Well, that's not a natural formation. Somebody must have lifted those rocks up there. Awfully precarious, though. Okay, so it's this tra train car up here. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is an enterable place. Hello, child. What are you doing here? What are you looking at? Boo! She came close, her head's murmuring. She uh, says she'll eat your heart before you even notice. Her head's Plural, heads. Who are you talking about? You can hide from her in the nursery, but not for long. Needy draws her wrong. She's a distaff. Who is she? I don't know. Tell that to your mummy. She'll hush you down. What are you looking at? Boo! Quinn can help if you don't have anything better. Yeah, nothing to say to her yet, either. I'm sure I'll come back to her at some point. Okay, while I'm out here, I want to know what this is. What is this symbol on the map? And what is this marshy area? Let's go find out. Let's just make a perma-save in case I really, really regret this. You know, I don't remember this at all from my original playthrough. Is this new? I really do not remember this in the slightest. It's those strange roots. It's a little camp. Somebody's obviously living here. Is there a way inside? That's obviously the entrance, but I can't go inside. Huh. So is there nothing out here? There's like a patch here. Let's go see what that is. That'd be right here. Nah, that's nothing. Just a bit of weirdness on the map. Looks like there's a patch of roots over here. Nope, that was not roots. Yeah, there's nothing out of here. 
Okay, I'm gonna go see what this is. That symbol must mean something, but I just don't know what. Ooh, my hunger's pretty high. I need to buy some food. Do I have any rations? Nothing but water. I'll probably only drink water right before I go to sleep. Because thirst is not a thing, right? Yeah, it's, it's not. Water just takes away hunger, but also increases your exhaustion. Almost there. There we go. Oh, so the other symbol is another one of those tents. So those symbols indicate tents. But they're different symbols. So even though they seem to be the same sorts of tents, they're marked differently for some reason. Also can't go inside this one either. Can I, like, start a fire with... Oh, don't, don't, don't take that out. Can I, like, start a fire with my kerosene? Okay, where the heck to now? So I've already been there, been there, been there. Town Theater is going to be playing something in the evening, so not yet. I've been all the way around here. I should go to the Lump. I've never visited there before. Or the Town Hall. I should start visiting, like, everyone and look for food along the way. Let's go to, um... Well, no, it seems like if you go somewhere you haven't been before and you have no quest to go there, like, there's usually not much to say, and it's just obvious you're supposed to come back later, so maybe let's not go places we haven't gone before, in terms of the red houses. Let's do the rounds starting at the Lump. Let's go to the Lump, and look for food along the way. Yeah, this is going to be one of those super aimless episodes. Seriously? The ladder doesn't work? Well, F you too. <coughs> Ow. Holy shit, that just like almost killed me! What the fuck? I dropped like five feet! Okay, cool. Whatever, I'll sleep it off. I ain't going round. Come on, I'm the bachelor. Let's see what this store is. Because I've only found one food store so far. I'd like to find more. This isn't the front door, is it? Nope. Oh, it's a closed door. All the lumps over there. Let's see what this door is. you have to trade, little kid? More rounds, but none for my weapons. What about you, Tiny Tot? Revolver ammo, yes. So, one for each round, right? Yep.
Hook is worth one. Meal's worth one. Thank you. Ah, uh, that's a medicine store. Okay. To the lump. More revolver ammo. Excellent. Ooh. This gold ring's worth five. So I've got a full five shots plus one extra, right? I think it holds five. Oh, it's a six round. So, yeah, I've actually got seven rounds. Six in the gun and one extra. Speak with the old Gimskis. Little Vlad told me to speak with you. Someone will have to be punished for this sin. You're thinking of leaving this inhospitable place, aren't you? Old Cain and his whims must be getting on your nerves already. And of course, they hate the Canes, just as everybody hates everybody else. The station is shut off, and yet you're willing to help me get out of here. Why? Why, it's a matter of respect. Don't get me wrong. I don't like Cain taking over my domain, even if he does technically have the right to. I understand family sentiments. Going after the killer is a rather honorable endeavor. But I have a feeling this killer won't be leaving the town by train. I have a suspicion that there might be an epidemic. Have you heard about it? Right. Let's get this settled straight away and not come back to the subject again. I am a businessman. I work with facts rather than ideas, suspicions, or theories. I'll help you leave the town as soon as you find a way to... calm Kane down. But what's in this for you? The noise that has been raised around this situation is unpleasant and disadvantageous to me. Pray forgive me. You're asking too many questions. You have come to see Simon. Simon is dead. You are more than eager to get back to your research. I want to help you because this is my duty as a ruler and as a local minister of transport, so to speak. I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay, this person's obviously trying to get me to get the hell out of here because I am going to go around town screaming my head off about how there's a freaking epidemic and we need to do something about it, and that's bad for his business. If there's an epidemic, he's going to have to shut down. He's going to lose money and all sorts of bad things. I don't suppose you are aware of the orders I received this morning. My duty now is to stay here until the threat of an epidemic is neutralized. I don't know anything about that. Make up your mind. I already have. I really do not like the old Gimskis. Well, under the circumstances, any inheritance um, would be opportune. What does that word mean? Bose? How do you pronounce that? Isn't that... That's... Uh, right? The O with uh, the dots over it, so... Bau, like Bose? Bose, Vlad? <laughs> what does that mean? Tell me, Vlad, what's going on in the termitary at the moment? You would like to inspect the termitary. Did I hear you right? Well, honestly, I should, but I'm scared. I don't really want to go there. I'm going to poke at this person's buttons, though. I would. I have a strong suspicion that the disease could have gotten inside. You need not go to the termitary. Even if you manage to get past the guards, you'll be ripped apart inside. It's hard for you to imagine what it's like in there. They sleep on the floor, hugging bulls. 
It's all a big stable. They can't even talk. They only howl and whine. You have peculiar working conditions. <laughs> it's putting him mildly. Fortune turns all things to the advantage of those on whom she smiles. The town is in danger. There may be an epidemic. I don't want to believe that. And I won't believe that to the very end, Doctor. But why? There's a certain political subtlety to this. If you're right, my dear doctor, the labor of our life is condemned, as our judge likes to say. Let's wait and see. Reuben is working on Simon, isn't he? He is. No troubling news from him so far. And you are willing to risk the lives of the people that have committed themselves to your cause and position for political subtleties? If I admit to your rightness, I might as well put together my last will. Do you understand? Of course you don't. Unfortunately, I cannot explain this to you. That is what the current power landscape dictates. You will come to regret it. Someone... Hey, little kid that just spawned out of the air. Anything to trade? What's in your pockets, pumpkin? Tablets. Oh, so I can give this flower to her. I don't know if I could give the flower to the... The boys? It says women like flowers. I don't know if I could give it to the boys. I'm curious if they uh, divide it like that. Like the boys aren't interested in flowers. Yeah, none of the ruling powers want to believe me about the epidemic. Stubborn-headed fools. Yes? Tell me, did your father know in advance that the town was on the brink of an outbreak? What? How dare you? I will not discuss my father's actions. Hmm. Pity. I'm wondering if I'm being not careful enough in my choice of words to these people. They did warn me that I should choose my words carefully. I hope I'm not offending the hell out of them. But I kind of hate the old Ginskis, so I honestly don't mind being a bit, a bit more of an asshole. Hmm. Nothing to do but keep making the rounds, talk to the ruling families, and see if I can convince freaking someone. Dear God, someone has to believe me. I'm guessing the outbreak is probably going to be just outbroken like crazy, and nobody can deny its existence probably tomorrow. So I feel like today is the preparation day. I'm just running around trying to convince people of what's actually inevitably going to happen. Oh, there's a pub even. Andre Stamaton, that's one of the people on my list of people I need to protect. Alright, where should I go next? I suppose the town hall, since it's kind of along the way. And then I'll go up to Yulia's place, ask her if she has any thoughts about the situation. Since she is a exceptionally logical thinker. Alright, let's do that. So yeah, I think I'll save this for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to visit the town hall, see what's there, visit Yulia, and then from there, probably go to the Subarov family and see if I can convince them of the plague. <laughs>